How's it going guys? Today is Friday, um, September 29th and still here in Bath County. Uh, I've decided to come back to Hot Springs again. I really enjoy all of the um, industrial architecture that's here and um, a lot of the character that I've found near this alleyway um, in downtown Hot Springs. So, you know, you can see there's a lot of really interesting color relationships and shapes. Um, a lot of geometry so I ended up uh, just finishing a painting of this view here that is again mirrored since I'm in the selfie mode but let me flip my camera around and show you guys how this turned out so here's the view that I decided to paint um, originally this shadow that's near my feet was about here when I first started painting and it was starting to cover part of the car and it has since shifted this direction um, out of frame. But what I really liked about this view are the uh, shifts in scale in the cars and then the uh, striped pattern on this awning with the shadow that was cast by the awning. So here's how the painting turned out. Um, I'm hoping that the image quality is pretty good here. I um, have had a little bit of a an issue as the shadows moving with the color getting faded um, and anyway you can tell that the uh, color palette was limited I started with a split complementary palette with orange uh, blue green and blue violet um, as my starting place and those colors in paint were cadmium orange over here um, a little bit of cobalt violet ultramarine blue alizarin permanent so those three were my blue violets and then I had some uh, phthalo green as my blue green so you can see some of these different piles eventually I started to push the orange more towards the yellow orange um, just to get a different sense of contrast in light but uh, it looks a little too saturated on the camera or on my phone but you can still get a sense for the overall structure of the painting one of the things I'm not sure if it's working right now is the perspective of the car. I struggle to really get this angle in the way that the car is sitting up against the wall. Um, it looks close, but something still seems a little bit off. Maybe I need to deal with this um, separation between the doors. That shape needs to be adjusted a little bit further. And then I think it's probably done. I really like where it's at. It has a very colorful, um, saturated, uh, feeling overall. I like the, the really high contrast in temperature between orange and blue um, and just a lot of those greenish muted violet tones that uh, were mixed from those initial colors on the palette. So so let me know what you guys think of the painting. Um, again, I apologize for the, the lighting. Um, maybe I'll move it real quick and we can see what it looks like in direct sunlight. So this is the painting obviously in direct sunlight. Um, there's a pretty nasty glare on parts of it, but the uh, some of the color relationships are a bit easier to see, I think, now. Um, but, I, I mean, as you can see, I was using quite a bit of pure or fairly chromatic color, especially in this big shape of the wall. Um, you know, I didn't really want to push the value um, range all the way to white. I didn't really want to go into white. I wanted to use the intensity and purity of the color to get that sense of value shifts but anyway um, thanks for watching the video and have a nice day if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave those down in the uh, comments of the video okay bye